Hi everyone, I'm Paula. I just wanted to welcome you to my room. This is where I do most of my writing on a daily basis. If I can, I try to get around four to six hours in a day. So I write over here with my laptop. And when I need a break from that, I just come over to my bed, usually hang out with my bear that my sister got me when I was in high school. And I have this pillow here, it just says relax on it, just to kind of remind me of what, you know, when I need a break from all the writing. So I just wanted to welcome you to my room to show you where I do everything. So the reason why I entered the Miss Perfect 10 contest was I was actually on my way to my last semester of university at University of Toronto downtown and I saw the poster just like, actually I saw about 10 of the posters and they kept catching my attention and the word perfect just stood out to me. It, that word has a really um, a special place in my heart because at that time um, I had been dealing with an eating disorder since September of 2007 and through going to therapy and learning about it in psychology classes that I was taking, perfectionism is a huge part in eating disorders. And again, the word perfect just stood out to me um, because at that time I had been working on a book um, of my own story, of my own struggle, how I got the eating disorder, what happened while I was going through it. And I actually had the layout of six of my chapters and each of the chapters' names were the word perfect, written in different ways kind of to describe, I guess, the stage of my life that the eating disorder and my own personal struggles were. So when you look at the media, you see individuals who are extremely, extremely thin or girls purging over a toilet bowl throwing up. I wasn't extremely, extremely thin and I wasn't throwing up over a toilet bowl, so I didn't think that I had an eating disorder. I just thought that I wanted to lose weight and I didn't like my body and the things that I was doing in hopes of trying to lose weight uh, were just, I thought they were normal. And until I took my abnormal psychology class in school and I started learning about different ways um, that girls purged, which means binging is when you eat, eat a lot of stuff, purging is how you get rid of the food. I didn't realize that what I was doing was considered a means of purging. So once I addressed that and I kind of admitted that to myself that I did have a problem that was above and beyond just trying to lose weight and I went to therapy and started talking to other individuals that were going through the same thing. I'm very passionate about helping those people who are you know living at home and going through the same things as me. I'm very passionate about helping them realize A they're not alone and B that there is a way to get past this and it's not anything to be ashamed of. We all have our own struggles that we go through and this is just one of them. Inside each and every single one of us we have these dreams that we want to accomplish and fear situates in each one of us and we have the opportunity in face of that fear to do what we want and to you know let it hold us back. I could have not called the guys in charge of this contest and I could have just you know walked by the poster seen it every day had that thought well what if what if or I called and which I did and and now look what happened like I'm sitting here explaining this to you I'm writing a blog I'm writing a book like it's real and the whole reason why I'm writing the book and the whole reason why I started the blog is to just let everyone know I know that we all have these fears I know we all have these insecurities and doubts but at the end of the day, like you have the power to be who you actually want to be. I won the Miss Perfect 10 contest in August of 2008. And I ended up going traveling for four months um, with one of my best friends. I went to um, Australia, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, and Laos. It is February 2010 and the poster is out now. And I'm really actually excited that I'm home and the poster is out. It's a super surreal experience um, tons of people that know me like have written to me saying they've seen it and I still I just think it's really weird but it's really really cool and and again it go like having the slogan follow your dreams on top of me it's just like it's just such an indication that you really can do what you want the thing that kept me going was my dream of having myself win and then being able to do something like this and sharing with you you know my story and my book and and I think following your dreams is a really um, amazing title for this year for the girls that are in the contest because you know this is probably one step into something bigger that they want to do. Being that with you just to follow your own personal dreams and use that as your aspiration throughout every step of this contest because in the end this is a really cool experience. Um, you learn a lot about yourself and you get to showcase that part of yourself with a lot of people. And I think that 
you know, in the end of the day, no matter what happens, if you do win or not, you're doing something that you're challenging yourself and you're stepping outside of the comfort zone by putting yourself out there like this. So just follow your dreams and be yourself and just have, just have fun.